Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie. I'm Greg. And today we've come to the Eden Project, home to the world's largest indoor rainforest. We have climbed all the way up here above the rainforest canopy. <laughs> we are so high up. Yeah, we are, which is a good place to start because we want to answer the question. <laughs> How does a rainforest make a cloud? But to find out, we need to work out what a rainforest actually is. Well, it's a forest where there's lots of rain. Actually, a rainforest has to have a few specific features. It's got to be hot, over 18 degrees throughout the year. It's got to be in a particular place in the world between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. And it's got to be wet, which makes sense because clouds are made of water. But it does give us the question, how does a tree turn water into a cloud? It starts here at the roots. The ground of a rainforest is like a giant sponge soaking up all of that water after a rainstorm and plants and trees suck up some of that water. Their roots pull it in from the damp soil around them and then the water gets sucked up the plant through tiny little tubes called xylem. It's a little bit like drinking through a straw. The xylem delivers the water all the way to the top of the tree to the very tips of the leaves to make sure that it's healthy and strong. But what makes the water pull up through the tree? It's all down to the sun, but it's what happens here on the surface of the leaf that's important. See, there's loads of liquid water in the leaf and on the leaf, and the sun is really hot, and it causes that water to evaporate. Now, you will have seen this before. If mum or dad are boiling a pan of water to put pasta in, some of that water turns into steam. We call that steam water vapour. Now, the hot, hot sun turns the liquid water on a leaf into water vapour and it floats off into the air. But as that water leaves the leaf, it pulls more water up the tree. And because there are so many plants and trees in the rainforest, there is loads of water vapour up there. This is a really wobbly bridge. There is in fact more water vapour above the Amazon rainforest than there is in the Amazon river itself. And it's all this water that makes a cloud. As the water vapour rises into the atmosphere, it cools down and it turns from a gas into a liquid. We say that it condenses. Just like when you breathe on a window, the water vapour in your breath hits the cool window and it turns from a gas into a liquid. And that's all a cloud is. Millions, billions, if not trillions of tiny water droplets all hanging out together in the sky. The final question then is how does all that water get from a cloud back down to the ground? Well, a cloud doesn't just stay above a rainforest. Up here, high above the canopy, there's lots of wind and that wind blows the clouds around the world. And inside a cloud, all of those little droplets are bumping into each other and they're growing and eventually they get big and heavy enough to fall out of the cloud. And that is what we call rain. Clouds are pretty awesome. Not only do they carry water around our planet, but those white fluffy surfaces also reflect sunlight, which stops the earth getting too hot. Now, clouds will form anywhere that water vapor has risen into the sky, but you've got to hand it to the rainforests. They're pretty brilliant cloud makers. Rainforests are incredible places. They also produce loads of the gas that we need to breathe in to live, oxygen. And they are home to over half of the plants and animals in the whole world. We have a lot to thank them for. And we have had such a good day here at the Eden Project. Yeah, it has been absolutely amazing. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with your friends and subscribe for more just like this. Stay curious and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.